Hi, welcome to Chris Ryan Golf. We're on the Brabazon today and we're looking at ball striking and how the ball position can affect how solid we hit those golf shots. Now, the first thing we're going to do is looking at setup position and where the ball is relative to us at address. Now, most people would agree that if I'm hitting a mid iron, I've got a, a six iron here. We know potentially ball position is going to be slightly different for individual golfers depending on the kind of shape of the swing. But I think most golfers would agree that that golf ball is too far forward in my stance. So what we're going to find happens when I play the ball way too much up in my stance. Well, I'm going to find that my approach is probably very, very shallow. So what that means is I'm very likely to hit the ground early. I'm very likely to hit some thin shots. And if I do make contact with the golf ball, because it's so far forward, the ball flight's probably going to be excessively high. So those are the main three things. We're going to find contact issues, and we're going to find that the ball flight's very, very high. The other thing that we may well get is because the ball is so far forward in my stance, I'm hitting it slightly later in the arc, in the curve, so we may well start to get some balls which move left to right through the air. Okay? So that would be for a golf ball which is very, very far forward. Now, what happens if I take a starting position with a pretty good ball position, and I hit shots on the range, and I find that I'm getting contact issues, so I'm getting thin shots, fat shots, I'm getting sort of really high ball flights, and they're going to move a little bit left to right. Well, what we've said is we can get those things when the ball's too far forward. So what I will say a lot of golfers do is checking their mirror or checking with their friend, and their friend says, yep, your ball position is absolutely fine, it's right where it needs to be, and they disregard that and then they carry on and they're still wondering why that ball's going excessively high. So what that can mean is that during the golf swing we're changing the ball position. So what do I mean by that? Well, I can start off here, good ball position, and what we said is if we move that ball too far forward, we're going to get those poor shots that we talked about. Well, what happens if I play the golf ball from the right place in my stance, yet when I come through to impact, I've moved my body back. Effectively, what I've done is I've created the same things as moving the golf ball forward. So by moving my upper swing center off to the right and leaving it there, I've created exactly the same relationship as I would do by pushing the ball forward. I'm going to get poor contacts. And when I do strike the ball, it's going to go very high and I'm leading down a route of where I might get some left to right ball flights. So the point of this video really is to say that if you're struggling with contact, if you're getting contact issues, ball flights, don't simply check where the golf ball is addressed, because it may well be that you're taking a pretty good orthodox address position, golf ball's where it wants to be relative to your feet, but actually when you're swinging back, we're moving too much off to the right, we're leaving the weight there, and when we come back to impact, we've effectively got a golf ball which is way too far forward, we're gonna get contact issues, slightly thin shots, very high shots, and some left to right shots. So ball position is important at address, but it's also vitally important at impact that we've maintained the relationship that we set at address. I would say that the ball position at impact is by far more important than where it is at address. Okay, so really, really important that we look at that. If you have got ball flight issues, yes, check the ball position at setup, but also check it at impact. You may well need a camera for that, and you may well need to go to your local pro. But if you can check it at impact, that's gonna give you a lot more information about the ball flight, and you may well be able to improve it just by working on your impact conditions and where your body is relative to the golf ball.